Excellent. So good morning. It's April 1st, which is April Fools, which doesn't really apply here in Mexico. So no fools jokes here. Uh, this will be TC 2004 analysis and modeling of software systems. Open it up on this page to start with to remind you, you can just go to kenscourses.com. Um, if you go to that main link, it'll bring you to the catalog and you can see the courses I'm teaching this semester as well as the previous ones, except for last semester when I had that experiment and didn't use it. So TC 2004, if we click into your course, um, this is the course page where you can see all of your posts, but I'll click through to the course page on Canvas, and then we can look at this week's announcement. Now, this week's, uh, you'll see a bit different version here. If you're not logged in, you can see I'm not logged in. Um, you'll see the announcements. I sent out an announcement this morning to make sure you uh, knew about this. Um, again, uh, based on your feedback, I'm making these weekly pages to make it clear what each week's uh, work is. So thank you for the feedback on that. I hope that's useful. Uh, I will link the video for this down below as soon as we're done. First, don't panic. I know there was four things due today. That was mostly because I shifted the last week deadlines to this week, but I haven't moved any of the other ones. I will do some work to do some shuffling around to, to even things out. The main thing is don't panic. I, I, I want to spend some time talking today about deadlines. Farther down, we'll talk about that. Um, so just relax. It's all cool. Don't panic. Um, and we'll talk about that in class tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be doing our first quiz for the week. This is related to the activity. We'll do another one on Friday, actually, um, which I don't think I wrote down there, but I will edit and add that. We'll be doing another quiz on Friday to catch up on more quizzes. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be doing a session looking at grading um, and mainly to attempt to reduce your stress and creating a more flexible system. I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been thinking about this for years and I've been applying different models. We will do a close read of a book chapter from a colleague of mine at uh, the University of Oklahoma University, OU. Uh, Laura Gibbs, link is there. You can read it yourself ahead of time or you can just wait for class. I've printed out some, I'm gonna cut up pieces and assign different reads to different people. Um, you can read my blog post that I just put uh, out this morning about this. And um, uh, someone asked me for my opinion on some things. So I, rather than answer them directly, I put it on my blog. Um, I've got lots of feedback from colleagues on that already. Um, and then Friday, we will be doing what what's kind of a self grading of your own exam. So don't, don't take this as, oh, I'll just give myself all the points. That'll be cool, because I don't expect that you'll do that. What I'd like it to do is generate a discussion about all of the different topics and uh, a critical self-evaluation of where you are in each of these. And uh, so that's what we're going to be done on Friday. So you probably don't want to miss class on Friday. Um, and then next week, uh, we're going to go back into a little bit of a lecture mode, mo mode on extreme programming, agile programming. Uh, in particular, we're going to finally do that planning game episode that I've got planned and ready to go. You've been asking for activities inside class. I've got one. I really appreciate if we can get a, a critical mass of people. I really need at least uh, 10 people to do the activity because it involves developers, clients, and observers. Um, if we have a full class, we can have two groups doing uh, this activity next week. Okay, so that's all. I will record this video while I'm recording it now. I'll push the stop button and then I will post it here on that link.